what's up everybody this is barry at titans of cnc today i went looking around the shop for a through coolant side lock holder and it looked like all of them were already in machines being used i found a couple of holders laying around that weren't through coolant and decided you know what why don't we just go ahead and make our own i grabbed our tool clamp out of our heimer crib so we're going to just throw our side lock holder into our heimer clamp and then we're going to just peck drill some slots through the bore of our holder So I went and grabbed an old extended length end mill that we had laying around, and I'm gonna do a 5,000 chip break cycle just so that the end mill doesn't taper down the inside of the bore. All right, so now that we have the slots in our holder, we're gonna go ahead and throw a tool in there and test it out in the spindle. It's important that we get the bore of our tool holder parallel to the Z-axis of the machine. It doesn't have to be perfect. A couple of thou is good enough. We just want some channels that the coolant or air is able to flow through. So you can see the coolant shooting straight down the flutes of our tool. That's exactly what we wanted, so I call this a success. It's a cheap and easy way to make your own through coolant holder. If you like what you just saw, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon. Oh man, Jesse must have used this holder last. There's all kind of junk in here. Stupid Mississippi swamp mud.